What is good everybody today we are diving into some brand new WWE action figure news for you and we have two brand new WWE elite lineups apparently that have been leaked out there now I do have some conflicting information that's going to be very necessary to include in this video and I'll dive into what I think about that and kind of give you my speculation on it versus what I think it is versus what it is and all those different things we're going to dive into all that man but today we're diving into WWE Elite Series 13 or 113 I'm sorry and WWE Elite Series 114 now my boy Pain Maker figs is the one that told me about this apparently he found it from one of his reliable sources and back in the day he used to give us a lot of information on these leaked information things and he used to be mentioned on the channel multiple times so he does have a pretty good proven track record I would say and so I do believe other people have been posting about this too which leads me to believe that it is true but I'll give you my reasons on why it could not be and we'll go into all the lore we'll do we'll break down the lore as always but let's dive into WWE Elite Series 113 man starting out first I'm pretty shocked by these ways and I'll kind of discuss that as we go. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm kind of shocked. We'll, we'll get into it. You can let me know your thoughts down below. But nonetheless, man, starting out with Elite Series 113, the first figure in Elite Series 113 is going to be none other than CM Punk. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. CM Punk returning to the line. We do know a couple figures that we're getting already. We have the made-to-order Elite of his return at Survivor Series. We have the Defining Moments ringside exclusive Pipe Bomb CM Punk. And this is just the beginning. It's going to be like Cody Rhodes. And honestly, it may even be worse than Cody Rhodes. They're going to pump this man out like it is just nothing. They are going to give us so many flashbacks, so many greatest hits, so many Ultimate Editions. I imagine this guy is going to slowly catch up to The Undertaker. You know what I mean? It's going to be one of those scenarios where they're pumping his figures out. Been on a figure hiatus from Mattel. So CM Punk getting a figure here is great in Elite Series 113. Now, the, there's different things to break down about that because... You know, they did this with Cody Rhodes where they fast-tracked his first Elite and maybe the head sculpts didn't look the best or his basic figures and things like that. But the Elite 101 Cody Rhodes, which was his first Elite back in the company, was a very good figure. I think it was a very good figure and you know this one was going to be fast-tracked. And since we already have his debut at Survivor Series, we have a flashback punk coming. I'd imagine this is probably going to be his Royal Rumble 2024 gear maybe. And I know that Royal Rumble 2024 wasn't that long ago. I think it was four and a half months or so from this time period you're seeing this. But again, they already had the pre-existing torso. All they really have to do is give this guy double-jointed arms that are already molded. They could probably give him a flashback head sculpt and paint it differently. So they didn't need a modern, brand-new head sculpt. And they have the formula perfectly down. So I don't think they have to spend a ton of time analyzing this and doing all this. I think they could fast-track a Royal Rumble 2024 CM Punk. And we already know we're getting the top talents figure as well in the All Black, which was his first in-ring appearance from a live show at MSG, I think it was, which is another crazy. So we legitimately, if this figure comes out, we'll pretty much have every single look he's rocked since he returned. I know he got injured, what have you, and all those different things. But I think this is probably going to be his Royal Rumble gear. I don't know what else the hell it could be. So we'll have to see, unless it's some suited style punk or something, which I highly doubt. This is going to be Royal Rumble 2024 CM Punk, but we'll have to see. You never know, Brad. You never know, but CM Punk's the first figure in Elite Series 113. Now, moving on to the rest of the set, we do have a first time in the line for our next figure, and it's going to be a guy that I know a lot of people have been wanting. I know specifically my man Brody Jr. over there has been wanting this figure. Trick Williams is coming to the Mattel WWE line, and this is a huge one. I, I, I'm i going to go ahead and put this out there. I'm scared that they're going to give this man the damn Drew McIntyre torso. You remember what they did with Velveteen Dream, and remember, you know, they did this... I don't know. I guess it's hard to say because they have they've obviously missed some torsos, but they have gotten better, I think, over time at addressing specific parts for certain guys. But I hope they don't give Trick Williams the damn Drew McIntyre torso or the Triple H torso. That'll be awful. Hopefully they don't do so. I think the Farouk torso or hell, maybe even the Farouk formula. Like you change a couple things. The Farouk formula from his uh, Elite was it Elite Series 98 figure. That'd be a pretty damn good little formula right there for Trick Williams. We'll have to see what comes of that and all those different things. But Trick Williams, I'm so excited for. Been waiting on a figure from him. I've seen some cool customs. I think this is going to be a great inclusion. Happy to have Trick Williams in the line. Not even a doubt in my mind that this is going to get some people pumped up. And I think that this is a great inclusion. Hopefully it'll be a good gear. I hope it's his white attire. But, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. We'll have to see about that. Now, another figure in the set is going to be Dragon Lee. Now, I want to say, am I am I crazy? Or did we already? I want to say I've, I included some sort of Dragon Lee news. And I can't remember what lineup it was. Was it Elite 113? Did we already discuss that at some point? I'm not entirely sure. 
but Dragon Lee is getting a figure here, and I hope that it's just a good gear. You know, guys like Sin Cara and Lince Dorado and things like this, they're always very toyetic because their masks look so good, and then, you know, anybody that wears a mask is usually pretty toyetic, so I'm hoping the same thing goes for Dragon Lee here. I imagine that his formula will be good. Hopefully, he'll pose around nice, and Sin Cara's figures were so very good because of the formula they use, and hopefully that'll be the same case with Dragon Lee here, but I'm excited to get Dragon Lee. You know, I think this is a good inclusion here. Definitely going to be grabbing this one and adding it to the collection there. So we are, you know, filling out our rosters. We're adding more first time on the line guys to the line, and that's always a bonus for me. So we will see about that. Maybe it was a basic line or something that Dragon Lee is in. I can't remember off the cuff. Nonetheless, we're moving on to the next figure in the set, and it is going to be Kofi Kingston. Now, Kofi Kingston hasn't had a figure in a little while. I think it was Elite Series 96 was the last time we saw him. You know, he doesn't get as many figures any, as much as he used to in the past, I don't believe. It's probably just because New Day is not at the, you know, the peak of their hype. They're not in their, you know, I guess you could say their prime anymore. And so, you know, that is what it is. He's still a legend and all those things, and he has a fantastic track record with, with figures. But Kofi Kingston's coming up here, and it's going to be fun because, you know, he's been wearing the Travis Scott Jordan 1 mochas to the ring. I wonder if they can get that into the line. You know, if they use that new shoe mold that's coming with the Ultimate Edition Series 22 or Jey Uso and John Cena, if they use that shoe mold. It's still very similar to the older shoe mold, but I think if you paint it up right and they do like the paneling right and everything, you could really mimic those those Travis Scotts, and that would be really sweet to see in the line. Of course, they can't include the swoosh, but you know, what? how easy would it be to get a decal and slap that on there? I think that would be really nice to, to do for that. And they could probably even include Ultimate Edition shoes. Now, the only thing that could be is maybe, I remember them saying that they're making a new shoe mold already, and so maybe that's where this that shoe mold is coming in. Maybe they're going to discontinue the one we already saw on Jey Uso and John Cena, and they're going to include it here with Kofi. We'll have to see, but... I think that uh, it would be cool to see that included. I hope they give us a good gear, so we'll have to see exactly what that is. But he's been wearing shoes like that. He hasn't really been wearing kick pads for a while now, so I think Kofi will be a really inclusion. Now, the last few figures in Elite Series 113, we've already known about, and that is going to, the first one's going to be Tiffany Stratton. And Tiffany Stratton, I do not like this render image. I, I obviously want a good Elite of her. I, th I think her attires are very toyetic, but this head sculpt is not it. We've talked about this already, but it is a render shot, so it's kind of difficult to judge because it is a render but you know you can't that's like the worst thing you could screw up on on any figure whatsoever is the head sculpt I mean you could have a perfect figure from the neck down and then if you give it a bummy head sculpt that's all people are going to remember it by and if they don't have an option to switch it out man you are doomed and the the basic Tiffany Stratton head sculpt is not horrific but it's certainly not the greatest of all time so if they were to mess this up it we'd have to wait on a new one so that would be kind of bummy but Tiffany Stratton is here in Elite Series 113 which we already knew about and then last but not least the last figure in Elite 113 is a guy we've been waiting on for a very long time, but we already knew he was coming. That is going to be Carlito, and Carlito is the chase. This makes me very happy. Been waiting on this guy for so many years for Mattel. It kind of makes me vomit, though, that it took 113 series to get an elite Carlito. My God, that is insane, but he's coming now, and hopefully we can get him in some flashback attires or something like that, or maybe we can get, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they could plug him into one of these sublines, a Royal Rumble, a Survivor Series, things like that. Would be very sick to see, because I used to love his old school boots. Boots, and hopefully we can get some of those old school purple and white boots in the line. But, you know, he's going to come with the apple and everything. This is a great addition. I love to see Carlito. Been waiting on his figure forever. So having him in Elite 113 is very nice. Now, this is the full lineup here. Elite Series 113. CM Punk, Trick Williams, Dragon Lee, Kofi Kingston, Carlito, and Tiffany Stratton. You know, not really... You know, you're not getting, like, some of those key pieces from flashbacks. I know Carlito's kind of creeping into the... I mean, I guess technically he is a flashback, but you, you know what I mean. He's not your... He's not... He's a legend in some cases, but I wouldn't include him in the Austins or the Hogan era. I wouldn't include his name up there with those type guys. So you're not getting any of those big-time throwback names there, but... Nonetheless, we're moving on to Elite Series 114, and I will get into the two figures that we already knew about from Elite 114, and then I'll break down some interesting development about everything. So the first thing is going to be Jey Uso. Now, we knew we were getting main event Jey Uso here. We saw the render shot back at WrestleMania. Very much looking forward to this. I think everybody is going to eat this figure up, and I know that we don't even have Elite 110 in hand yet, but you're looking. This is going to be out by the end of the year. You know, Elite 114 is going to be for this year. We'll probably see this figure on display at San Diego Comic-Con, if I imagine, or maybe Maybe we'll see a prototype of it 
But Jey Uso, main event Jey Uso, got to have him in here. So we're definitely going to be seeing a Jey Uso, and he looks good. I like all the different things going on, but we won't know, obviously, all of the details until he comes out. But next up is going to be Jimmy Uso. He's the only, the, he's the other figure that we knew about from Elite Series 114, and he looks good. I like this head sculpt a lot. It's very plain, but I like this new leg mold that they have going for him. I like the shoe inclusion. I bet it'll be the Captain Lou shoe mold, which looks really good on different elites. I've seen some customs fixed up with those shoes. Still can't find those damn figures. They, they're at my store. They won't put them out on the peg. Man, I've been trying to buy this set for two months. Put them out there, man. It hasn't been two months. Yeah, I'm a little bit exaggerating, okay? But put the damn figures on the pegs so I can buy them. And I could probably ask, but I'm not. I, I don't. I just don't. I don't care that much to do that at this juncture with this wave. So Captain Lou will have to be waiting for you. Now, next up in the set, we do have the remaining four figures in the line, and the first figure is going to be Tommaso Ciampa. Now, we have not seen Ciampa in the line in a very long time. He has not had a mainline Elite since Elite 69, which a lot of people dub the greatest Elite set of all time, and it is definitely up there as one of the GOAT WWE Elite sets of all time, Elite Series 69, and we saw him in a ringside exclusive, and we saw him in the Hall of Champions Target exclusive wave. This could be his best figure, but his Elite 69 and the ringside exclusive were very good. Now, he he does have a very good track record, and so maybe this figure will be good. I imagine it will be good, and you know, any, I feel like modern elites have entered into an era where every elite they put out is pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good, so we'll have to see what comes of Ciampa, but it is exciting to get another Tommaso Ciampa in here for our collections. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while since we've seen him, and then we also have Ilya Dragunov in Elite 114. Very hyped for Ilya. I feel like his Elite 96 figure looked nothing like him. It was an abysmal head sculpt, but from the neck down, that son of a Bish composed with the best of them. Very poseable, very feel good in hand, great formula, great attire, great cloth goods, came with a UK title. His Elite 96 was great, but the head sculpt was dreadful. Hopefully Elite 114 will flip that script and we'll get a great head sculpt of Elia here in the line, especially since he's going to be prominent on television. This, this figure could not come at a better time because here in six months or so, or whenever the hell this figure actually drops, it'll probably be even, this may even be the beginning of 2025, I'm not entirely sure. Now that I'm thinking about it, you got Elite 110, 11, 12, 13, oh, it's going to be close, it's going to be close, maybe Christmas, we'll see. But we do have Dragonov coming here in Elite 114. Now, next up, we have Braun Breaker. Now, we did see him in Elite Series 104, and that figure was damn good. It was a damn good figure. It posted around great. I mean, you could repaint that figure, and nobody would be mad at you. His head sculpt was great. I think it'd be cool to see a yelling or screaming expression because we've already gotten such a good Elite 104 base head sculpt. So, seeing him pissed off or screaming would be really good. But he has a good track record. He had the Chase figure also in Elite 104. Both very toyetic, both very colorful, great head sculpt, great form. Formula. All you can ask for, man. He is everything you want in an action figure. He poses around great, all those different things. So I look forward to a Braun Breaker. I'm excited for a Braun Breaker updated figure, and hopefully this one will also be a banger. But we're moving into the last figure in Elite 114. And the last figure is going to be Zoe Stark. Now, Zoe Stark, you know, they try to include at least one female talent in every Elite line, so we're continuing that trend here. Elite 113, you had Tiffany Stratton. In Elite 114, you're getting Zoe Stark, and I feel like her figure is kind of overdue. I'm actually shocked that we didn't have a basic of, of her before now. This is going to be her first time in the line. Now, could she be included in a basic line before this? I guess so. But at this time, this looks to be her first time in the line figure. And Zoe Stark is a talent that, you know, she could make for a pretty good figure. Hopefully, they'll get her, you know, she's pretty damn muscular. So hopefully, they'll get her right. You know, a lot of the female figures have like the exact same arm mold. So hopefully, we'll see some improvement there on her formula. But I imagine this is probably going to, well, I guess, nah, it probably wouldn't be. I would say it was around her, you know, her time with Trish. But I mean, by the time Elite 114 gets here, I feel like that's going to be water under the bridge. So I don't know. Maybe they're going to skip over that completely. We'll see. But Zoe Stark is the last figure in Elite 114, man. So running down Elite Series 114 from top to bottom, we do have Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Tommaso Ciampa, Ilya Dragunov, Braun Breaker, and Zoe Stark. Now, every figure in this wave is pretty much a modern talent. Every single one of them in this line is a modern talent, which I thought was crazy. And in Elite Series 113, Every figure in that line was pretty much a modern talent. Now, you could say that Carlito's a flashback, but not really in this case. This is not your typical, you know, flashback figure here. So, I would say that every single figure is a modern-day looking figure. So, we'll have to see exactly how everything comes with all of that. But one interesting thing is back at WrestleMania, they showed off some render images of Elite Series 114, quote-unquote. But after seeing these lists, I think that they meant Elite 115. Now, back at WrestleMania, we saw the final boss, Rock Elite, and we saw an R-Truth figure, and both of these figures were dubbed Elite 114 Rock and R-Truth, but then they also showed a Kyrie Sane, and in her render shot, they put Elite 115. 
I believe that every single one of these is from Elite 115 because if you look at this list here, it says Elite 114, and I remember talking about this, that, you know, that they fast-tracked that final boss rock, but Elite 115 would make more sense. I think that that would be a figure that they could get out in Elite 115, especially when you look at this list of Elite 114. It's very, it's a very believable list, and, you know, I don't see anybody on here that looks out of place or anything that's not going to be on the money, so I think the rock figure and our truth are together with Kyrie Sane in Elite Series 115. Now, we don't know the rest of the wave. We'll probably find that out at San Diego Comic-Con, which is approaching in a couple months. We're like two and a half months. That'll be here before we can even blink, which makes me want to vomit and makes me ill. But, you know, it is what it is, man. But that is all of our figure news. Elite Series 113, Elite Series 114, and then The Rock and Our truth I think, are going to be in Elite 115, even though I think Ringside Collectibles posted them up as Elite 114 figures, but they were probably given wrong, the wrong information. Maybe they mixed up the waves. You know, they're, they're making so many damn figures, man, so it wouldn't shock me if, you know, they were told by Mattel the wrong thing, or maybe they slipped up on a wave or something like that. Wouldn't shock me at the slightest, so we'll see about all that, man, but that is your Elite Series 113 and 114. I think a lot of people are going to be able to save some money. I know a lot of people don't really collect modern day figures, so you can save your money for the Monday Night War sets, and the pay-per-view sets, and the flashback figures, and the best ofs, and the greatest hits figures that are going to be coming out this year, and you can save some money. I mean, hell, even the next Ultimate Edition wave, John Cena, which I guess technically is it, you know, a legend talent, but it is a modern day John Cena. You have Gunther, who is modern day, and Jey Uso, which is modern day. So, all those things being said, yeah, I feel like a lot of people that only collect flashback, flashback collectors can breathe a sigh of relief, I think, because you are saving a lot of money here. So, we'll have to see exactly what comes of that. You know, we have our Legends waves, we have all these greatest hits waves that are going to be re releases of previously released figures, which are probably going to be flashbacks and legends, which makes me th this is why I think that they're they're moving because there's so many greatest hits waves and they're going to be getting a lot of older talent in the line i think that's pr or re-releases of older talent that's probably why they're moving towards a more modern day main wave because they can plug in a lot more flashbacks and legends into those sub lines your pay-per-view sets etc so I don't know. That's just my conspiracy or my thought process there. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of all this down in the comment section below. Of course, always open to discussion down in the comment section below. But huge shout-out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. You guys are absolutely goaded. And a huge shout-out to everybody for the birthday wishes over on Instagram or Twitter or even on YouTube in the community tab. I appreciate all of you guys for the, the kind words on all of those posts. You guys mean the world to me. I appreciate all the, the kind support. The support was kind of crazy, and I always appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for everything, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on all this down below. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.